So here's the thing about his recall position. I don't know where he was trained to get to recall. Sometimes he does a split finish. Sometimes he does a half-ass split finish. And sometimes he just comes over here. So what I'm going to do is ask him just to be just to be in front of me. All I want, I just don't want him behind me. All right, it's very sloppy and it's very, um, from a, as a dog owner, I know that it's sloppy when your dog recalls when they're behind you and now you're turning and then they're moving and so come as far, close as you can to me, in front and sit. That's all I'm looking for, or down. Just don't move, okay? So what I, how I'm gonna tackle this from a training standpoint is I'm gonna see what he offers me and I'm gonna start saying, nah, I don't like that one. Nah, I don't like that one. Ooh, I like that one. There's a, there's a certain part of him having to figure me out, okay? And that, that creates a different mentality than me trying to get the dog to please, please try this, please do that, okay? Tom, that's a good boy. That's a very good boy. So that's his half-ass um, uh, finish, right? And then if I ask again, Tom, he puts himself in the finish. So somebody, so break this down just for fun, right? I don't really care. Just for fun, somebody taught him this, but somebody also rewarded a handful of times or didn't correct for him doing a half ass as well. So when I see these things as a trainer, I automatically, whether I like it or not, my brain sees the mess ups prior and then I get to move forward. Somebody's very inconsistent with placement, corrections, and rewards, okay? This is not a terrible spot to recall to, but you gotta do it every time then. So he offered me that. I corrected for him being right here because what is that, right? I know that this is what they must have taught him because if I ask again, he comes here. So rule number one for dog owner who, who takes dog who's been trained home or a dog trainer who's training a dog, don't reward the stuff, stuff you don't like. Uh, and, and always don't stop until you get what you do like and you won't, you won't be putting up with this struggle of the dog being inconsistent, okay? He only gets rewarded um, and he, we only allow one position. And I guess that's what I'll do. If he knows that, sit. If he knows that, then I will capitalize on that and start encouraging that and discouraging every other position. Okay, let's see what he does. All right. That's a good boy, though. You want to know what I like about it? He's trying. That's why we're having a good time. It's not like he's telling me to go take a hike. <laughs> he's working with me, so. So we're having a decent time here. We're having a very civilized exchange. If he were to say, I don't feel like doing this, then I'd have to punish that mentality, bring him back to fellowship mode, uh, following mode, being respectful, and then continue the lesson. Yeah. Okay, I'm not, I, that, that kind of stuff doesn't even bother me. He's trying, so, so uh, let's see what we can get. Tom, that's a good boy. Look at the super inconsistency, right? See what I'm saying? How now he's on the right side and far away. All right, looks like we're gonna start from scratch. I um, don't mean to do this, but what I just did is I exposed the holes in, in the training that he had previously. He doesn't actually know where to go. Look, come. Is this right? I, and then if I say, no, that's not right by beeping, he'll try, is this right? Is this right? He's been rewarded at all of them, right? So what I'll do is I'll say, these are all right. If there's a line, if there's a box around my feet that comes about, you know, maybe like, 10 inches out or foot out if he's in that box he's good I keep it easy on him this isn't sports stuff I don't need it to be specific but I can't have him walking around so in my mind I just said okay I'll make it easy for you somewhere right right here okay. and how I'll do it is I will recall him pressure on at a low level something that he feels for information turns off when he's in my little invisible box in between my feet Come. You gotta back up with this method a little bit. Sometimes, good boy, especially with the big guys. Good job. All right. So watch how this will play out here. Come. Good. Good. Come. Good. Come. Good. So the reason why this is looking 
easy, because I'm using e-collar pressure. So he knows when it turns off, he's in the right spot, but while it's on, he's not in the right spot. So, I mean, this tool is saving me so much time and effort to explain to him what I, exactly what I want. I don't have to lure with a piece of food. I don't have to uh, sit down and describe where I need him to be. I can say, when this turns off, you're there, and when it's on, you're not there yet. And then the rest of the work's on him with me giving him little clues. But notice I'm shifting my body here. I want him to know that it's there. It's, it's here, right? Come. Good. I had to dial up from a four to an eight, and now I think I'll dial down to like a six. Just because I need to make sure he's feeling it. Good job. Like most training, this doesn't look like we're doing much, and then we'll set it down and we'll see if he's improved. Come. Right here is where he's going to learn. Come. Good. Good. Come. Good boy. Wow. Come. Wow. Good boy. I'm walking very cautiously to not get him to make mistakes right now because I really just want to give him some knowledge on this and then I'll start encouraging some mistakes. Come. Good. Mess up. Pressure on. Come. Good. And now that's how I'll deal with it from here on out. I'll, I, I won't give him any stimulation if he's coming towards me. As soon as he's making an error in position, this e-collar pressure will be on and I'll back up for another recall until he's in a nice position. Okay, right in front of me. Boy. Oh yeah. This is the work that needs to be done. We're gonna spend a little time on it. That's a good boy, huh? Yes, sorry. Got it. A little further away. No. That's a good boy, Charlie. Come. That's good. That's a good boy. Yes, Sully. Very nice. Very good. Awesome. Very good boy. Good job, my man. Any more lunch work? <clears throat> with this guy, he's uh, he's had a lot of experience with that recall. I think this will have to be something we do nearly every day um, until it's consistently in, the, in a nice position. Come. Good boy! Good, yes. Much better than here. 